it's incredible. You have such perspective, you know, but it's like, look, what you just said is so fascinating, right? Like, I'm going to say something, and I'm a little out of it right now because I did this weird shot, but Julie said, and remember her background, Ron would come up and grab your ass, yeah, and you just took agency over yourself, and you're like, hey, man, don't fucking do that. It wasn't even that he grabbed your ass. You see the first thing you said? I'm married. Not don't grab my ass. Right. So people will come for you and say, why don't you address the grabbing of your ass? And not that it's okay and not that, um, and not any of it. But there, there it is a time up until the great of 2017 where, and again, none of it was okay, but Hollywood is, now that was over the line. Now, lucky he got a cool chick and don't come for me for that, meaning that somebody who can just say, stop it, and you can push him away. And say to him, that's not, a, that's not okay, yes. and that you're crossed a boundary, and why would you do that? But yes, but you'd let it go. It's, oh, yeah. it's gone in eight minutes. Yeah, because he, but I'm saying, he wasn't threatening to me. But that's the town. So many people don't understand that, that there's people way worse. There's also people that are innocent. There's a lot of fucking people hug too long. I, I can't tell you the amount. How about this? This was a common thing on set. You'd be on set and um, you ever have like an, an actor would just come and start like, I watch this all the time. They massage an actress or vice versa. Actresses will come. That's not weird to me, but it happens all the time. I think what's worse is the open secret of all the quid pro quo, quid pro that pro, quo. Yeah. Oh my goodness, quid pro, pro quo. Quo. There's a reason I can't say that. Quid right. pro quo, which is what? Which is I'll do this for you if you do this for me, and that is a much more. And that's kind of the whole Harvey Weinstein thing is. I'm going to give you a part if you give me a blowjob. And I won't do this for you if you don't do this for me. And for some reason, that to me is much more, because um, I think it still happens. It's just uh, probably more subtle now because people have to be more careful. But I still think that's that's the real. Well, let's start at our baseline at rape and assault is bad. Yeah. Okay. So let's start there. We both are on the same page. Okay. And... But I'm just saying people, him grabbing your ass right there, that's like a second degree rape in people's eyes, right? And you're just like swatting away, right? I'm just telling you. Yeah. The goalpost has changed. The goalpost has changed. So let's just go back. And I've had female producers do that to me. Shit, I didn't think twice of it. It was a compliment. You know what I mean? Right. So let's go back to quid pro quo. To me, it's, it's, it's what makes it really bad is that if they do it and there's someone in power and then you can't say anything and God knows what they're going to do next and you have to stay silent, that... Is the but you're not talking about assault. You're talking about a con you're talking about a contractual unsaid said. Yeah. So you're saying is the guy's like and we'll just usually this is how it is, a guy, which I've never been involved with any of this shit. I always just thought you auditioned. You know what <laughs> I mean? And I'm also not a young ingenue, but don't think gays didn't like me. You know what I mean? It was a twink moment in my career. And so, but again, like anyone who did, uh, that wasn't my path, you know? I wasn't anything, I've never had anything weird happen to me, but there's definitely flirting from all sides, right? So, and plus I was just funny. I could just disarm people, you know? What you're saying, I want to take your take on this because you're, you are a director, right? You're an actress too, but let's just say you're a director and a writer and you got this guy. Okay, have you ever in your mind, well, you're married now. I'm going to go here and we can figure this out. <laughs> have you ever said a guy, he's got two scenes in a movie, and you're like, man, you're not terrible, but you're not great, but you're not known. If you just lick me <laughs> oh for about 12 minutes. Wow, that's a long time. <laughs> I'm going to get you that SAG card. Have you ever thought of that? I mean, that's like me thinking of you know, going to the dog park, opening up the trash can, and eating a bunch of shit. Who's the trash can? You know, like a like 
That's the situation. That's how crazy that is. Okay. Like, that is so crazy. I have to tell you something. That, <laughs> I don't know why my mind went to the dog park. I, and it's always with the dog the park with you. Which I, well, well, because I got so much to say about this, but I, there's a really funny female comedian. And she was going back on the road. I'm not going to name her name, but she was so educational, like a top 10 moment in my life. And she goes, I fucking hate going on the road. And I'm like, why? She said, because I get lonely. I'm going to miss my fucking boyfriend. It's going to fuck my relationship up or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, but you go. And it, I know it gets tiring, but you're fun. And she's like, she's like, I'm not a male comic. I'm not going to wait for one of these audience members to blow me. Like, female comics don't wait at the end of the night and go, who's going to eat me out? And I was like, that was like life opening, changing for me. So is that how it is as a male comedian? Well, no, as a male comic, you definitely enjoy female attention if you're straight. Yeah, well, I know. And you, you know, people I, offer things to you, so that could be a benefit to the job. So, not to turn this on you, but it I am didn't curious. even fucking cross her mind. And I just, like, that was an insight into females that I was like, this is great to yeah. learn. What are you going to say? Yeah. Well, you know. No, you're about to ask me something. Well, I'm I'm curious mm. because. I still didn't even get to ask the other part. Go ahead. Well, if you. No, go back. So you get a lot of attention, like a rock star, right? And then you have people come up afterwards. And certain people come up and they really, you can tell that, that they're trying to offer you sex, like almost like a prostitute. Yeah. Oh, sure. And that's attractive. Like, is it just like, oh, she's really hot, so I'm lucky I'm getting this for free? Or I, I, I can't even, without a connection, without, you know, it's so, it's just not attractive. Like, see, sex is just a transaction, but that's the whole thing with men and women. I, we're different. Because when women say, oh, I just want to get some dick, I never believe it. I mean, I know they're kind of, I just don't believe it. I don't. I love that you say that. Uh <laughs> what did they say? Say it again. No, when women... Say, I just what? Oh, when... If a woman says, oh, I just want to get some dick, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. <laughs> you know what I see? Who hurt you? Who hurt you? Because my girlfriend, which took me a long time to say those terms, is hit me to this. You and her, we get along like two peas in a pod. Sapiosexual? Yes. Yes. Oh my God. I, you were the first person. Sapiosexual. Yeah. So she's literally has to be like, what, like you're an amazing piano player or you're in the same mindset or you, you, you're connected through either laughing at the jokes and, or, you know, your intellect, your intellect or you your think. kindness, or there's just like four or five things that you're just connected to this person. And that, Will get you juicy, yeah, and and it's, it's not even sexual. It's in it's a it's a connection of right. of like a bond, and then sex is the byproduct, right? And then the sex is is really good because Explosive. it comes because it's otherwise, actual love. It's actual love sex, yeah, which she, I learned from her. Mm. I know I never really well because I want to go back to what you're saying. That's the truth. Like I'm so happy to hear that. Yeah, it's well, yeah. I mean, it's crazy. It's, yeah, it's crazy. I can't even believe I'm talking about it. But that's what that is. And sapiosexualism from a, mm. from her and from what you're describing is you literally are just like hugging and holding each other because you enjoy this person so much. And then, you know, fuck it. You end up having sex. Like, But it's not even – it's like it, it's literally a one union thing. Mm. Like as nobody's doing it at that person, which is, you know, a different thing. But she, f listen, there's a lot, there's 25 podcasts, what you just asked, but the difference between men and women, until you really meet somebody, and I've lived, you know, I'm doing this almost 30 years, so, you know, and I went from, you know, having like a girlfriend in high school going to second base to like not to nothing for a while and then being a funny guy in acting class. And even that was like, you know, I got attention, but it made me a little fun, but not all the way. And then all of a sudden I'm starting to get fame. And then I never dated, ever had to do any of that. You know what I'm saying? So, and you're, so to answer your question is 
that's how different men and women are is men literally want to catch a nut mm-hmm. and women want to love a nut. They don't even, it's like your vagina. This is why I have a whole thing with the new like empowerment of women and talking. They talk like they think dudes talk. No dudes talk like that. No dudes worth your salt. You know what I mean? Like, you know, pimps in the game. And I mean that with the most uh, respect, like guys that you would find attractive. None of them ever talk like that. They right. talk like women because we are, but we're men. You know what I mean? And that's what real women like. So these women trying to act like these frat bros, it turns me the fuck off. Class is out the window. Bring back Elizabeth Taylor. Yep. And, you know, you just said this. So it's like you can't when a woman says, I just want to get some dick. I love that you said that because I agree with you. I never believe that shit. I believe. (sighs) I believe there's a lot of shit there. And that you just said that you can't look at a guy and just be, oh, I'm horny. Mm -hmm. And there, there's going to be pushback on that. But I do believe a lot of women are sapiosexual, where men can literally see just a body part. Right. Like if an it's ass, biological. If an ass was just walking down the street with legs and nothing else, and maybe two hands, <laughs> men would be like, "Let me get it." Well, that's why men have the real doll. And yeah. Where's the real doll for women? I don't. Well, they have Bob. Well, yeah, you could say that. okay. Battery well, you got op- me on that one. But battery operated boyfriend. Yeah. They've got toothbrush. Yeah. They've got doorknobs. I mean, come on, women use a lot of objects. Yeah, but it doesn't have a whole head and body attached to it. Well, neither do neither do men. Men could. Yeah, I know. I know. Let's not get into. Put that. it in. A, yeah. I know, but you know the whole real doll concept yeah. of like I don't even want her. It, it it's like a woman. Well, it's like the movie Her, or I, I just I want like it looks like a woman. It's a whole body. It's where AI is going. Yes. And I don't think women are going to with AI are going to want a computer-generated, perfect-looking man to have sex with the way men might want a computer-generated, perfect-looking woman. That, that, we're just different like that. That's so true. Can you imagine women getting the AI man? It's like the, the whorehouse for, for women. I mean, isn't there like a brothel where it's men, a stud farm in Nevada, and it's men you pay as a woman? I don't know. I find that really fascinating. Where's the movie about that? Maybe they've made women, it. Women, you're saying that women want the whole... Man, if they're gonna, if it's gonna be a real man, it has you have to. It's usually a connection. Now you're gonna get some pushback on that, but for the new generation that can just say, "I just want some dick." Well, the new generation doesn't even know what gender they are. So, ooh, <laughs> now you want pushback? <laughs> okay, but but the, gen- the new generation is uh, is 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 looking down all the time and and living on a yes, you know. I have two questions though. Cause you can what, cut all that out too. No, I'm not. It's the best stuff. <laughs> I wanted to go back to, because obviously we're starting at the baseline that rape and assault is bad. All right. We're also on the baseline that we don't have an HR in our business that we're getting one now and that we're overcorrecting. But we're also getting, so a, you know, we had not, we had, we didn't have an intimacy coordinator on our, you know who our intimacy coordinator was? Her. And you know what? It was a female director. You know, I just think she's a great director. She happens to be a female. And who was a great writer. Thank you for saying that because yes. I hate the female oh, director. I do too. I'm telling them for them. Yeah, no, no, I know. Because the whole thing that, that female shit. goes before I the hate word. That shit. It's like you but you were just a great director and you closed the set when you wanted to close the set when you when the actresses felt comfortable and the actors, you treated us the same, you know? Um so I'm gonna get to something but before I get to that. The with the transactional thing, there are people that are doing this. But on the consensual part, the crime part is already terrible. We already get that. The consensual part really bugs the fuck out of me. Because I think that the people doing it, the people doing it and the people getting it, I don't know who's more guilty. Mm. Because if you're, again, call me a name, young, let's just say young actress, and you are like, I'll suck this dick. I'll S this D for this role. Not on my merits, but on my mouth, which is its own merit. And the producer, you're like, that's fine. I'll get through it. And he he's he does it. And it's all consensual. You're 
in a way, as bad as that guy. Because you're skipping the line for what? Right. And it's like you're taking, you know what I mean? Like, and it's, you can't stop it. But I'm saying that people don't talk about that enough of like. I feel bad. Be good. For- be good. At what you do, but you can say that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? Did that come out right? Yeah. Well, it it, it actually it. Because then they'll say the power dynamic. Yeah. Some fucking mouths are powerful. You know what I mean? It's like you've you've heard this. There are people. Oh God, how can I say this? I'm just gonna say it. I'll figure it out if I edit it. Out. There, there, there's. I don't want to say it. Very big, successful legacy star who did that once or twice to get in. And then became an Oscar-winning person. Mm. And Who was that? <laughs> a woman? It was a woman as sexy as fuck that you would never is have. Is it Sharon Stone? Yeah. Because <laughs> I've heard that. Yeah, but I don't want to say that. But, you know, maybe well, she said it. I'd like to have her in a pot. But if it's even true, but if I've heard it, but, but, it's, But the way she owned it, she said, listen, I wasn't getting on. I was hot. Did one. Boom. But she had the talent, the looks, the charisma, everything to back it up. But she admitted it. So mm. I don't know if it's true. So I shouldn't speak on that. Well, if she said it, I mean. I think she said it. But the bottom line is, I'm saying it's like we have to have all or nothing. Either people are trading favors sexually and it's fine or not. But you can't just say the producer who's a creep. How do I say it? Does it sound like I'm defending creeps? I just Because I just find that, like, I just see it a lot. I just see, like, girls sexualizing themselves. But they're like, I'm an actress. And it's like, you know, you can, no, I can tell you fucking the difference. You know what I mean? Because I know real actresses that have never fucking turned a trick and are amazing and very successful. It's just, yeah. Well, it's. I'm sure it's not just in Hollywood. I'm sure it's in other. Oh, it's too. in academia. Yeah. Trust me, I know this. I've been medicine. I've I've been heard. I've talked to this many circles. So, 